It has been a decade in the making and now a computer made entirely by MSU students has a date with the moon. NASA has selected it to be part of a demonstration as soon as next year. And Dan's Cody Boyer is live in studio to show us this new technology. Well, that's right, Caitlin, Kevin. They call it Rad PC. It's made entirely with off the shelf materials, making it cheaper and smaller than anything NASA has now, which is exactly why they have their eyes on it, selecting it alongside 11 other projects to fly it to the moon to test it out. And they've got experience flying it on balloons and rockets that just go up and come down on the space station. Professor Brock Lemire says it has been a decade long experience of lunar proportions and the product, at least as of now, is the size of a toy block. The purpose of this technology is to provide a computer for future space missions that can provide increased computation above what they currently have and also provide resistance to space radiation. Lemire says that can force computers to crash. So using everyday materials anyone could get, he adds they found a cheaper alternative for an improvement. Current computers uh, that NASA uses and aerospace companies use make them resistant to radiation and it causes them to be quite expensive and also run uh, pretty slow compared to the computers we have on Earth. We call it off the shelf uh, parts. It will look something like this when it actually goes into space. Brock says the amount of work that has gone into it is amazing, but just how many students who have put their heads and hands into it as well, that's even more so. This has been 100% built by MSU students and primarily undergraduate students. In about 10 years, over 130 students have worked on Rad PC, including second year grad student Chris Major. It was pretty awesome. I mean, thinking that this thing's going to go into space was, I'd say, a combination of excitement and terror. It's NASA's Artemis project, which will attach computers like Rad PCs to landers bound for the moon, someday, maybe even Mars. An experience overall that will have Professor Lemire looking up following the effort that dozens of students made happen. It's surreal, to be honest with you, to think that uh, we've been working on this idea for 10 years and now actually putting on it on the surface of the moon. Lemire says there's still plenty of legwork to be done. Now, first, his students are working hard to get the computer down to its final form and will be able to test it again on a satellite that will be launched this fall. They plan on having Rad PC ready to fly to the moon as early as late 2020. Back to you. Okay, thank you.